Hey everyone, welcome back. So, showing you how to build a forge. Today I'm going to show you how to build one of these to power your forge. This is a three quarter inch tea burner, it's naturally aspirated. Before I go through what you'll need to build this and show you how, I'm going to go steal my son's easel and we're going to talk about the science on how one of these naturally aspirated burners work. If you want to skip that, I will add a timestamp for when I start the actual build. So I'll be right back after I jack my son's easel. Welcome back. So I've some stole my son's easel. I have a tea burner roughly drawn. Sorry, I'm not much of an artist. And we're going to discuss how one of these works. All right. So as you can see in my very crude illustration, we have our tea, we have our gas input nibble, and we have our mix tube. Naturally aspirated burners work on a system called a Venturi. So what happens, let me grab some different markers here, is you shoot a pressurized gas stream down this pipe. And it is very important that when you build this, that you design this to where that gas stream shoots as straight down that pipe as possible. Because what happens is you shoot this pressurized stream, which will be your propane, it creates a venturi. So as this comes down, a low pressure zone is created here along the sides, which causes oxygen to fall in because it creates a vacuum to draw oxygen from here. And so you wind up pulling your oxygen source in like that. If you have this too far offset to where the stream is hitting the walls of your burnt mix tube, you are not going to create a proper venturi and you will never draw enough oxygen. This is the most important part to any venturi build is that you get this as dead center as you can. Now as far as this little reducer we have on here, the point to that so the oxygen doesn't come in in a straight stream like this. The reality is, is it gets pulled in, it hits your stream of, of propane, and it bounces back and forth as it comes out. So when you hit the very bottom of your tube, your oxygen shoots off and finds the path of least resistance. The original design for a T-burner actually does not call for a bell reducer. Uh, the gentleman who designed this burner goes by the moniker of Frosty. He calls for the use of a thread protector, which would just sit on here, akin to this. It's, it's just like putting another piece of slightly larger pipe on the end. And what that causes is as your oxygen starts to divert out real quick, it has something to baffle against and bounce back in. And it allows you a further mix. Then once you put this within a forge, and your propane is then hitting and being back pressured and backing up, that thread protector is really all you need to create the baffling and slow down your gases and oxygen to get you a proper mix. I've heard a lot of people say that anything with a bell reducer isn't worth using. It's not at all true. The, the bell reducer is simply there to create this effect and cause a better mixture if you don't have the bell reducer on there, a lot of times they'll just blow themselves out. You don't have to use the bell reducer. I don't. I, in fact, use an actual flare when I build them. Uh, this is a 12 to 1 flare ratio. I think I picked this one up from Zoller Forges. Uh, you just need something to create this effect to get your oxygen to baffle back in. Some people use their forge design itself for that it all works. So this is the basic principles of a Venturi. I'm going to go ahead and put this away, get out the parts, and we will go through a parts list on what you'll need to build this burner, and we'll start to build. Okay everyone, so here are the parts you need to assemble a T-burner. We start out with 8 inch long, 3 quarter inch black iron pipe. Okay. Uh, this is, of course, threaded on both ends. It doesn't have to be. It makes your life easier if you're going to build it to this 
this design and not weld on. You are going to need, this is just a three quarter inch to one inch reducing coupler. Uh, this is what you can use for the flare. Again, you can use a one inch schedule 40 pipe that should fit right into. You just need something to reverberate that oxygen off of. I am using this little Zoller flare for mine. I think the Zoller flare was 15. Uh, I should add, I'm going to give you the prices on all of this stuff. And I'm going to give you the prices for what I pay. I use mostly local stores. So you can probably get this even cheaper if you were to go to big box stores. But especially with the things that are going on in today's world, I prefer to go to the local shops and spend a little bit more. So the black iron pipe cost me, I believe, $4. The Zoller flare cost me $15, so I'm at $19. You will need a T connector. This is one inch by one inch by three quarter inch. It is important that you get the reducing T. You cannot use a three quarter inch, three quarter inch, three quarter inch. Okay, you can, but it does not draw enough oxygen to reach a proper neutral flame. You need the one inch to draw the additional oxygen. Uh, this, I believe, was $8 at my local shop, so I'm up to $27. Now, this part I do divert from the original designs uh, from the gentleman named Frosty who designed this. Uh, he uses a, I don't remember the, the size of adapter he uses, but he, he taps it and puts a MIG tip in it. It works perfectly fine. You can do that. I am going to link to the original plans from Frosty so you can see those and use them if you would like. I don't because I've found these things and this just saves you a step. This is a 3 8 inch flare which hooks up to most standard regulators by 1 8 inch NPT that is drilled to schedule uh, or uh, that is machined to a 0.3 orifice. Uh, so this just saves me from having to tap out that connector and put in the MIG tip. So these are all the parts you need. Oh, I'm sorry, I paid $8 for that. So grand total using the Zoller Flare is somewhere in the $35 range. Uh, if you're going to a big box store, you could probably get the parts using a coupler to build one of these for around $15. So next, I'm going to get this locked up in the vise and show you how to drill the hole to put this on. I'll be right back with you. All right, everyone, as you can see, I've got the T locked up in the vise. This is a 5 16 drill bit. This is actually the incorrect size. The correct size to be using is an R, but I don't have it. 5 16 will work, but it's a little tight. If you stick your drill in, you can feel around and get roughly the center point on one axis. The other one, you just have to kind of eyeball yourself and drill your hole. Now I'm going to flip this around, lock it back into the vise, and tap my hole. Alright, as you can see I have flipped this around, I have it re-locked re into my vise, and I've switched out to a 1 8 inch NPT tap. Uh, I did not misspeak, that is the size of this tap. It is a 1 8 inch NPT. You just got to tap your hole and try and do it straight. Alright, now I will pull that out of the vise and finish the construction. Alright everyone, now it's time for the super hard put it together. Screw your T onto your pipe. Take your 3 8 flare by 1 8 inch MPT. I did put some thread tape on there. And screw it into your freshly tapped hole. And tighten everything down. That's 
that's it guys that's the construction of a t-burger now one thing you can do to see if it's going to work real before you ever put it in a forge is if you look through it if you see the side of your pipe it's not going to work i don't see the side of my pipe so we're going to go ahead and throw this in a forge and test it all right everybody i hooked up the t-burner we just built to this forge it's on a solar flare uh, i'm going to fire it up for the very first time this is a completely cold forge i may need to move, make some minute adjustments as far as moving this into the flare slightly but let's see what kind of flame we get Well, if I can get anything to ignite. can see that that is definitely a forging heat uh, so unfired forged and black steel at 909 to nice warm forging heat forge at 914 I would say that that burner is a success guys it's all it takes to build a burner put it in a properly insulated forge and it will easily do the trick have a great day guys remember to hit that like and subscribe and let us know down below in the comments the things you'd like to see us make. Take care.